Anger is indeed palpable everywhere, especially not only in the streets of Athens, but across the country. Uh, a student protest wrapped up uh, not long ago. It brought the standstill to the city center of Athens as hundreds and hundreds of uh, young kids exactly like the ones who were victims and died in that fatal uh, accident uh, in Tembi. Uh, they were marching today all through the city center, right up to the uh, headquarters of Hellenic Trains, um, the train company uh, operating uh, the, 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 the trains in Greece. They were very angry, uh, but they stood silent and peacefully. Uh, they were carrying a large piece of black cloth in honor, in memory of the victims and their families. And the chant was very much, you know, uh, I'll call you when I get there, you know, which is very much uh, something that every kid uh, really felt, uh, you know, in Greece. Uh, we'll call, I'll call you mom, I'll call you dad when I get there. Well, these kids never made it there. And that's very much where uh, all the kids here can feel. Uh, further tonight, we'll also have another at 7 p.m. Uh, another protest is going to take place where the opposition party, uh, Syriza, is also going to join in. And everyone is really calling for a transparent investigation and quick to that has been uh, the answer of the authorities at least with appointing a three-member committee an expert committee to kind of look at what the malfunctions were what actually led uh, to this human error and if there was a human error uh, which everything so far points to that why weren't the safeguards in place wasn't the technology in place uh, to protect the passengers uh, from uh, such a fatal and horrific end. Natalie, our viewers are seeing live images right now uh, of funerals being held for the victims. And from what I understand, there are still uh, family members that are waiting for victims' remains to be removed from the scene. Uh, what can you tell us the latest uh, from the rescue operations? Well, the, the firefighters are concluding, um, they're in charge of this entire operation of sifting through, of uh, collecting uh, the bodies, the, the charred bodies or, or the members or anything actually that can find anything uh, that will allow the uh, experts in the labs to conduct the, the, the DNA tests to kind of uh, figure out, you know, the victims' uh, names uh, who actually died. Uh, um, and, and that's been ex an extremely painful uh, process even for the rescuers who have been absolutely traumatized, saying that, you know, every every uh, piece of, of, of body they could find was actually one of their own child that would remind them of their own children. Um, it's an extremely painful uh, for all of the country. Uh, and uh, they're expected to conclude the process. Many uh, of the bodies have been handed to the families, but some are still waiting for the uh, identification process to be concluded. Hopefully this will uh, take place today. Again, 12 uh, firefighters are on scene. Uh, the crews are still there, the, uh, the the cranes as well. They've managed to go through the first and second uh, railway cars, but uh, there's still a lot of work uh, to be done for today. I spoke to them not, not long ago. Uh, they're hoping to wrap it up by today, but it's been a painstaking job uh, to try and make sure that nothing is left behind so all the families can have an answer uh, within the coming days. And Natalie, I'm hoping you can just Put the train network in perspective a little bit for us. I mean, is is the train network in Greece is it um, is it widely used? Is are there a lot of routes, or is this a a smaller network? Uh, Greece's railway system is, is very small. I mean, the main line is basically Athens uh, to Thessaloniki. Uh, the uh, company itself, which used to be state-owned, was bought uh, by uh, the Italian, uh, one of Europe's largest uh, railway corporations. Uh, it was bought a few years ago. But the, the, the big uh, issue was, you know, um, uh, hearing the experts talk is like, uh, when uh, a few years ago this entire uh, traffic control, control system, which was quite archaic because it didn't rely on technology, uh, but it relied on more humans, uh, more people working. They had a traffic control system which was set up uh, to have a backup to, you know, if the railway master uh, actually collapsed on the floor or if he had a human mistake, which is uh, considered as kind of evident that there is going to be a mistake and where it's part of human nature, 
that there's a backup system and there are safeguards in place. And all this was scrapped back in 2020, uh, but uh, waiting for the new technological equipment to be set up. But it was never set up, so it was kind of left in limbo. Uh, Many successive governments and have been accused of not paying enough attention uh, to the railway system. The person that is uh, striking today and yesterday as well are saying that, you know, they're completely and chronically understaffed. Like they're, they're saying that they should be, you know, at least twice as, as many. Why was there a station master on his own? Why didn't he have uh, someone at one of the busiest railway uh, stations in Greece. Uh, he was left on his own. He himself only uh, concluded his training uh, a few months ago. He started this job, this such an important safety job, uh, right at the beginning of the year. Um, also, when it comes to technical, technological equipment, uh, it's very outdated, archaic. It's still, everything is still done very manually. Um, there's so many um, malfunctions and also there, there, there's Greece really needs to catch up with 2023. Um, uh, we're still very much behind. That's something uh, that uh, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, the prime minister, and his transport minister who resigned, uh, Karamanlis, not long ago, a few days ago, actually uh, admitted that we really need to work on this. We really need to start afresh. And that's what the message that so many Greeks have been saying. Just scrap it. Just start from the beginning. And many Greeks um, today... I wonder how many of uh, the people in Greece now will actually use the railway system uh, after all these uh, errors and deficiencies have been highlighted. Very unfortunate that it looks like it took an accident like this to make those changes happen. Natalie Savarikas in Athens, thank you for your reporting.